This British explorer traveled from the depths of Death Valley to the peak of North America's highest mountain, propelled only by his own power. I'm only the second person uh, to ever complete this journey in the first this century. Ollie France traveled over 3,500 miles by bike, skis, and his own feet across some of the continent's toughest terrain. It took him 64 days to reach the peak of Denali in Alaska. It's really, it is the culmination of over a decade spent on ex doing expeditions around the world building my knowledge, building my skill set, building my fitness that, that has allowed me to eventually pull this off. There's a bear right there. Wow. First a grizzly, then a big black bear. France says he faced physical and mental challenges every day. On the mountain, his team had a grim reminder of the dangers they faced. We saw a helicopter flying away from the summit and unfortunately carrying the body of a, of a climber who'd fallen to their death. And that, that was a moment where you really appreciate the fine line of exploration. And there were a million times throughout the journey when I thought it's not going to happen. It's not possible for all kinds of different reasons. Um, even, even when we were only 100 meters from the summit and it was within sight, you know, there still could have been various things which could have prevented us from getting to the summit. Yeah, I, I almost had to pinch myself when I did. France says he hopes to inspire his children. But as I reflect on the journey and the big question that many people ask me of why, well, this is my why. It's my three year old daughter and my one year old son. I hope this shows that with enough hard work, preparation, and resilience, we can chase those biggest dreams. Now back home in London, he's already planning a similar expedition in South America next year. France says his aim is to be the first person to travel from the lowest geographical point to the highest one on every continent. A dream he calls the ultimate seven.